What's good, Humble Squad? Hey, hold on. First and foremost. Uh, there we go. You know I had to do that. Now, look here. If y'all seeing this, right? Y'all having y'all brightly colored laptop. Well, my thing is with my laptop right now, at the time of this reaction and such, I have like a little... Mm, y'all may not see maybe on y'all screen y'all probably good but on my screen I have like this big purple screen and such where it's known as like the purple of death or whatnot on my laptop so right now my screen is fully well in a way f like purple and such so like a little glitch in my screen and such so hey but rest assured I order on another laptop and such Hopefully it comes by tomorrow or so, May 6th or so. Either way, hopefully by say next week or so it comes in. But either way, look, with that being said, mother suckers, y'all, I haven't uploaded another reaction in over how long? Let me see. I'm gonna look at my YouTube. Hold up. The last time I reacted to something where my laptop was good and all that and such was from my Mahito rap in my hands from Connor Quest and such. And that was on May 2nd. Right? So I haven't uploaded anything in three days because of my situation with my laptop. But look, rest assured, I at this point, fuck it. Until when my new laptop comes in, I'm pulling y'all out of reaction whether my screen looks messed up or not. And the fact that this nigga Drake responded back to freaking Kendrick from that Not Like Us or probably from that Meet the Grams one. We got Drake The Heart Part 6 playing off of Kendrick's like the, his The Heart series and such where he had The Heart Part 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and such. Now with this, and crazy that he got freaking day free screenshot, like Instagram screenshot on the screen and such, bro. All I'm gonna say is, Drake, you better be f That back to back diss tracks that Kendrick dropped from the Meet the Grams one and then the Not Like Us, which by the way, that Not Like Us was a bop, y'all can say it otherwise. But Drake, hopefully, you better be fighting back on this one. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. My hoodie up. My hoodie up for this one. Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling I got your fucking lines tapped, I swear that I'm dialed in First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake, what are the walls down? The street And hey, shout out, shout out to 1090 Jake Cause, hold on But in a way Oh no, no just because Ross was just because Rick Ross was talking about 1090 Jake and such, going at him and such. So in a way, shout out to 1090 Jake too, cause I realized with him, hey, he put a lot of those rap rap documentaries that you see on the internet and such. She they put in the work and such. So ones like 1090 Jake and such. Another one I remember. Another one I'm watching is called like from another reactor called Swamp Stories and such. Trust me, when you want to hear about the dirt, when you want to really hear about the story on some rappers or rap beef, I am reacting. Sorry about that. But yeah, basically, shout out to them. That I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small. 
small town My Montreal connects, stand up, not far down The ones that you getting your stories from, they all clowns I am a war general, season in preparation My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information A daughter that... Oh, hold up, he's saying he... He gave... You giving them fuck... But isn't that still... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe in a way where he's saying it like that now, what did that mean that you're still... I don't know. I don't know. Preparation, my jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a name a destination, but you so thirsty. I don't know, my nigga. Hold on, let me pop a little can of soda to this one, because, hey, this shit getting juicy. Pause, no did no diddy, but all I'm saying is my nigga You talking about fate Look from when you was going at that when you and Pusha T was having that beef and he was talking about how you was hiding Adonis from the world He wasn't saying shit about that so the fact that you said about how he you giving out freak information on like an 11 year old daughter that you had hey man I don't know I don't know it's a good rebuttal but decoration you saying. waited for this moment overcome with the desperation we plotted for a week and then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old I bet he takes it but about giving a fake name or a destination but you so thirsty you not concerned with investigation instead you in that Venice studio it's a celebration you got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient your fans are rejoicing thinking this is my expiration even the pitch I mean hey Drake, I mean, he, he got up. I like how Drake is like doing the same thing that Kendrick was doing on freaking Meet. Well, not saying Meet the Grams, but most likely Euphoria and such, where he's breaking men down and such, like breaking down of all the shit and such. I mean, it could turn because this is five minutes and 25 seconds of a song, so. It could switch up. Things you never know. Less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use, the jokes and the medication, the Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master Manip. <laughs> the Maybach glove and the less he used for. Hold on. The jokes and the medication. Like the Maybach right glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bit on calculation. You dumb and reactive, nigga. I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why is it Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months, the distance is wild. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Because he did say in his family matters where one of Kendrick's kids might be Dave Freeze, and literally you see the heart emoji and shit. Yo, look, I'ma save my stuff for the end and such, especially when it comes Epstein to J. Cole. I'ma save my stuff for the end. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over. I mean, my, I mean, nigga. It was straight up, hold on. This direction, sure you rather fucking grab your anything that you now, this Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me, I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection, so neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with is so excessive. They acting like it's so aggressive, but you just never known affection. I don't wanna dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my by Mariah Carey play, you probably start reflecting. 
hold up a second. <laughs> he said about this and got me reflecting. He on some J. Cole shit where, nah, nigga. You know what? Let me say it now before I forget in the end. Y'all niggas, for people out there where they was clowning on J. Cole for backing out now and all that. Granted, maybe at the t This is just my opinion, right? And maybe most of y'all will agree. Maybe most of y'all won't. But all I'm going to say is this. After what this was going to be, after what the initiated... Or basically of how this was gonna happen and such between the beef of J. Cole, I mean, of Kendrick and Drake. At this point, y'all have to agree. You now understand why J. Cole back out. Honestly, this is how I feel. This is just me. Because if I knew that these niggas was gonna go crazy back to back with it. Was it disheartening that J. Cole say he apologized for dissing at Kendrick? Yes. But, after what's been going on back to forth, the allegations between one another, do we, definite, do we definitely understand why he backed out now? A hundred freaking percent. I don't care what anybody says. Because let's be honest, if we knew that it was going to turn, if in a way that, if, if he even he knew that this was going to be how it isn't said, how the beef was going to turn out, I, if I was in his shoes and I know what, how this was going to turn out, yeah, I would have backed off too. I, ain't, I don't care. Yeah, if y'all going to get mad at me, y'all will make y'all little jokes, go right ahead. All I'm going to say is, the back and forth and the viciousness of each diss tracks and such. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I would have said, you know what? I apologize. I'm gonna take it to the chin. Pause, no diddy. So yeah, y'all wanna be mad at J Cole now? Go ahead. I don't care, cause nigga, after certain after certain shit like this, I would have so backed out too. Cause you just never know these I don't wanna diss you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play, you probably start reflecting I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why there's the angle that you really mess with Just I mean, nigga You know what's so crazy about that? Cause I literally saw on Twitter Shout out to Dizzy8, cause he reposted it And such, right? Where I see a video Of Drake On stage with a 17 year old and he heard what the state and he heard what the age was he heard the age of what she was but he still he still insists on kissing her hey sometimes y'all rappers out there need to control it. grant now look granted hear me out hear me out on this not saying I'm defending it whatsoever. I'm not trying to say it's right or anything. I will say though, some of y'all ladies out there, and this is from somebody who's 23, so I'm not. I'm not. Mm. But some of y'all out, some of y'all ladies out there, y'all be, especially the teenage ones, y'all be trying to get these rap. I'm not trying to say it's their fault. I'm not saying it's their fault. But y'all need y'all need to. I don't care how much of a fan y'all are. Y'all trying to get them caught up. Trying about this and that and third. Because I know damn well y'all would say some crazy ass shit. I remember seeing a video where this girl was 18 years old, right? Just turning 18. And she was on live with Chris Brown. Just out the gate. This girl saying she going she wanna suck this nigga, suck this nigga D. Like, bro, I don't care if that's the legal age or not. Like, I'm like, nigga, y'all trying to get these rappers caught up. I'm like, nigga. So all I'ma say is, but the fact that he still went on and kissed the girl, you, 
He, all I'm saying is Kendrick wouldn't say some allegations like that. Really got me second the day video to so back it up. Ride, carry, play, That's all I'm saying. Reflecting. I knew no one underage, but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper message. Deep cuts that never healed and now they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeding resentment. Not sure how to ease the sentiment. The shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents. But you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you let. And an A minor, but niggas got a B sharp. Mm. Nice little flip on his like A minor. Cause when Kendrick said about how I probably struck a chord, you probably struck a chord, but it's probably A minor and such. And that little flip on his A minor, but niggas got a B sharp. And tell the fans who was it? You thought you left D flat. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross hair like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's not. And what's so crazy is that this nigga Rick Ross, the minute his plane got crashed down and such, what the first thing? What the first thing this nigga talk about? Damn Drake. Nigga, you just got cr you your plane just got crashed down, and instead of worrying about if y'all is okay, if everybody else there is okay, you decide to worry about this nigga Drake. I'm like, nigga. Millie Bobby Browns, I never look twice at no Get up, Drake's dick already. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, he ain't wrong. He really is a hit maker, don't get it twisted. And the thing is with Drake, most people be thinking like you because Drake is known for making those hits. No disputing that. We know that for real. God's plan, no matter what. In my feelings. Nigga, you name it. <laughs> there are, trust me, Drake, Drake is known to making them certified hits, no matter what. But a lot of people be sleeping on Drake's like ability to really be like a lyricist, really know how to put that pen to paper, know how to rap rap and shit. Granted, they may be by ghostwriters. <laughs> I don't care, I know I'm... You, it's basically like this, with Drake, he knows he's not gonna escape those ghostwriters allegations. He's not gonna escape it. Right? He's not. But that... But in a way, rest assured, at the end of the day, y'all cannot sleep on Drake not being a good rapper because, nigga, the fact that he can go bar for bar with anybody, else, well, not saying bar for bar with just anybody, but saying he can't rap, that's a lie and a half. This nigga went to freaking battle rap shits and such. <laughs> Ain't no way you gonna tell me a singing nigga like Drake going to these battle raps and he gonna out rap some of y'all niggas out there. It's, that is crazy. I'm just saying, y'all need to stop putting respect on Drake's name but when it comes to this rap. So really no this nigga can rap rap too. Name you see. No sex offender list, easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. Yes. You thought you left D flat, D major. I slit your throat with a razor and do Rick Ross hair yeah. like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Go ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe we should make her. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they. Benzino's ass. Benzino. 
yo, shout out to Cordoray. I want to say this. Shout out to her, cause the fact that if y'all if y'all have seen this video around this nigga, but you can already tell. Look, I know this is completely irrelevant to this, but all I'm saying is, shout out to Cordoray, cause she had to step up saying like, as of this moment, do not associate myself with this nigga. Do not associate myself with him, cause, bro, this nigga Benzino talking about how R. Kelly need everybody gets a second chance. R. Kelly needs a second chance. No, nigga, I don't give two shits how fire his songs are and such. The minute we hear about you was do, the minute we know about how you was doing all of this shit for years. With little girls and such, I don't care. The peeing or whatnot, I don't care. Point is, the minute we hear about you with some underage girls, you not coming back. We not giving you no damn second chance. You gonna stay your ass in jail. Yeah. Just when you think Benzino was gonna get a little bit of respect left from the hip-hop, with that type of comment, that bitch gone. Even from his own daughter saying that, I don't want, you be, I don't want to be known from this nigga. That's what make it more effed up. That your daughter don't even want you to be. That your own daughter, your own flesh and blood, don't want to be known around you. <laughs> so, hey, shout out to Coyle Ray for I'll standing on her own and have to yeah, stand maybe on when business you meet with that type I don't want to fight with a woman you know, beater. Wow. Feed your nature. If you still bumping Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon, no wonder you turn a clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. I see you when I see you like Fantasia. I see you when I see you. No wonder you turn a cloud chaser instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I see you when I see you, you, see you, 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 see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. Like a Fantasia. I promise. When I hit you back, it's a lot safer. That is. Nah, nigga. I gotta make a... Look, I wanna just give a little discussion. I wanna make a discussion video on this whole Drake and Kendrick see you when I see you like Fantasia. Cause I just wanna Whitney, talk to you. Can you hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. I can't even whistle. I promise. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some, some good exercise, like... You promise. It's good to get it's out, crazy. get the pen working. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking <laughs> lying to every blogger and editor, but... It is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though, like... <laughs> you got <laughs> ten more right records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if he wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit. But, mm -hmm. you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game. Like. Nah, this thing a Drake. Yeah, you can def. Hey, if one thing people know Drake for is being petty like a motherfucker. This nigga, hold on, let me make sure my phone is okay. Yeah. Nah, this nigga Drake is definitely being petty like a motherfucker. Saying about, you need to thank, talking about how y'all, you need to thank me for actually making you coming back into the game, actually coming back to rapping. Rap side nigga. of you, I'm happy I can motivate Saying you. Saying that if it wasn't me. Bring you back to the game. Nobody like, would even remember your ass. Crazy. You know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like.
Is it though? I mean, is it though? You saying it's facts, but is it really though? I mean, game. I mean, is it though? Is it really facts though? Hey man, all I can say is Drake not dead yet. He's he's fighting back. Do not get it twisted. He ain't dead yet. But I'm just hey. Y'all let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. Do you think Drake is dead yet? Or I, he might as well wrap it up. You let me know. But look. Trust me. I'm going to make that video. Because just make that like discussion video. No edits. No this and that. Just me talking to y'all about this particular thing. So hey. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And hey. If you made it to the end of this reaction. Comment down below. I understand now. No. Comment down below this phrase. I understand J. Cole's. I understand J. Cole. <laughs> Just comment that phrase down below and that makes me know you made it to the end. Or even that. Comment down below. Hashtag I understand J. Cole. <laughs> comment that down below and that makes me know you made it to the end. But. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. <laughs> Kendrick. You up now? I know he finna just. Kendrick, your turn now. <laughs> I'm out.